Eating healthy on the go doesn't have to be complicated, whether you're at work or shuffling the kids from one activity to the next. Yeah, certified personal trainer Quincy Sutton specializes in fitness, nutrition, weight loss, sports performance, and corrective exercise. And he is back this week to show us how we can make the best choices on the fly. Quincy says the number one thing to keep in mind, you can't outwork a bad diet, even if you spend hours in the gym each week. When faced with multiple options, Quincy says keep it simple. The fewer ingredients, the better. This is the main yeah. section where we, I usually pull from. Everything here is frozen, so. So we're avoiding that something. section over there. I'll We've tell you that right now. Okay, I can already see which one I would probably grab. And I like that the calories are right on the front too. They're not trying to hide it or pretend like they're healthier than they're not. But when it comes to a beverage, I don't want to waste my calories on that, no, right? No, and our first thought usually is to grab a juice, but they're actually not very good for us most of the time. So I wouldn't waste any of my calories with any of these sodas and definitely none of these juices. I would always just get a good old water. All right, let's go get a water. Yeah, let's get that. So I'll go for like almonds. Okay. Um, because they're fast, they're, they're tra they can transport, and um, they're just easy to digest easy too, to but they too. keep me full. Mm -hmm. And so I, if I need a sugar pick-me-up though, I know you're not gonna like this, but I'll go for <laughs> one of these, a little taffy, because yeah. it's like 60 calories, but it's like instant sugar rush. Yep. Quincy is quick to find a healthier option, a fruit bar containing only mangoes and apples. Keeping in mind, calories are like a bank account. You have a limit for the day, and you want to spend that limit on the best choices possible. Simple is better. Yeah, simple is the better. Maybe one of the most important things to keep in mind is healthy portion size, which is different for everybody. A simple way to cut your calories in half, or at least a, a dramatically uh, decrease them, is take half the sandwich, Jamie. Eat the whole fruit bar. That's only what mangoes and, mm -hmm. and apple. We're good to go. It's gonna give me that and, quick energy. And uh, are you a mayonnaise girl? Not really. Not really. Okay, forget that mayonnaise. Man. <laughs> we don't want that mayonnaise. And then look what we just did there. There, we probably took off you know 150, 200 calories alone right there. But that's still gonna satiate me. That's still gonna keep you satiated. And you know, like I said, you know, I'm a lot larger person than you are, so I might need the other half of this. But what's this to say? Even if I didn't have time to finish it, I could eat that right there and then finish the other half later. So it's not like it's going anywhere. You know what I mean? Well, remember, always consult your doctor before starting any kind of diet or exercise program. And for more healthy living stories, go to fox13seattle.com. We'll be right back.